Welcome to Tech Tuesdays with Bellwood Library. While we currently don't have any physical newspapers that patrons can read, we do have digital access to daily newspapers from around the world. The resource we're going to look at today is Press Reader, and I am on their website right now. It is just at pressreader.com, all one word. I will have it linked below in the description for you. You can also find links to it through our website at bellwoodlibrary.org. <clears throat> this is where you can find digital access to uh, newspapers and magazines from around the world. So um, once you're on this screen, you can go over to the right side and choose sign in. And you can see there's an option for library or group. I'm going to just start typing in Bellwood and it has recognized us. So I'm going to choose Bellwood Library and sign in. You do need to have a library card and PIN number through us specifically. We do have um, a online digital access card that you can register for. It's through our catalog. Um, if you go to bellwoodlibrary.org and go to our catalog through that link, you will see uh, how to sign up there. We do also have a video about registering for a digital card on our YouTube channel. So once you've logged in with your card, you'll see that screen again that we were just at, um, but now we are logged in and we have access to Press Reader. So um, to browse the main publication, um, page, there are a few different ways. You can see everything um, kind of has these little buttons, so you can choose newspapers, magazines, or all of the United States publications. There's also um, just what they're featuring, so for example, um, they're highlighting some of today's publications that have just came out, so today's issue of the Los Angeles Times, The Guardian, um, the Newsweek issue that just came out, um, <clears throat> New, uh, the New York Post, the recent COVID-19 news, and then the same thing with magazines, some of the uh, top, it, top recent issues that have come out there as well. And I'm just doing a click and dragging motion, which is why you're seeing some of my uh, images be highlighted for a second or two. Uh, it's similar to when you're clicking and dragging uh, up and down, except in this time I'm only doing it side to side. This, uh, this right here where it says My Publications, I'll show you that in a minute, but if you save anything as a publication, it'll go ahead and give you access uh, quickly and uh, to just open up right there. If I ever did want to open up one of these, um, you can see my... Uh, my little mouse is clickable here, so I'm going to just click on that image and it'll open up the Los Angeles Times. And so uh, right here we can see this is today's issue. It has today's date and then this is yesterday's, uh, the issue from the 20th, the 19th, and there's even a see all button, which means that they have more issues beyond that that I could see. And not just the Los Angeles Times, but they'll also give me some other options for similar publications that I might be interested in. But if the Los Angeles Times was the um, publication I was looking for, I could again just click on today's issue and it'll go ahead and open right up for me. And here is today's issue. Um, I was previously in this, so it's actually saved my place. So I'm going to just go back to the front page real quick. And there we go, I'm at the front page again. And you can see, um, I hope, very, very faintly when I'm going over these various headlines that you can see, there is a very faint, faint highlight that's coming up over each of the headlines when I'm over them. Um, and so if I were to click on any of those and choose that headline, that article will open up for me and now I can read that article. And it's going to give me the full headline, the areas that it's uh, involved with, what kind of categories it falls under, 
These are clickable. I could choose uh, the categories that it's under, find similar articles um, as I just did there. Um, I'll real quick show you by pressing that plus five, it brought me to similar articles published in uh, other places. This is the Edmonton Journal. Uh, this is from the Dallas Morning News. Similar articles from uh, around the world that have been up that have been published about the same thing. I'll just really quickly go back to that back button. And here is that article where I can read. And again, with that clicking and dragging motion to the side where I can read uh, the full article. Okay. And here is that information where you can add something to your publications. So if you just press that heart, it'll get added and then clicking on it again will remove the um, heart from your publication or from your uh, favorited publications, I should say. If you ever want to uh, go back to any part of the front page, you can see I chose the front page section again, and now it's giving me um, all, those, all those headlines again and a little bit of a snippet of what is in those headlines. I can kind of see the beginning of the article, but not the full thing. If there ever was something uh, that I did want to continue reading and I wanted to go to that next article, I could just choose that article right from there. And then again, I'm at that article. If I want to go to any of these sections, it works the same way. They separate all their sections out, um, same way you're used to in a regular newspaper having its sections. These, these work the same way. They have all the sections there. You can just choose the section and it'll open right up and uh, you can go ahead and start reading. If you ever have it opened up like this, where you're seeing a few different uh, articles, so these are the articles that are in the opinion section. If you ever wanted to continue reading the article, because again, it's getting cut off each of them at the bottom, you'll see this green arrow. You can just click on that green arrow and it'll open up that full article for you. And it's as easy as that to read uh, the newspaper in Press Reader. If you wanted to go and uh, explore these other categories even, you can click on the category and it'll open up any recent articles that uh, fall under the same, the same category that we just chose. And it works the same way. You see the publication name, the uh, headline, a little bit of an abstract or a summary, maybe the beginning of the article. You'll get who it's by, and you'll get that green arrow again to just press and open up the full article. If you ever want to go back to that main page, you can press those three buttons and then that publications option right there. Real quick on the side, I want to talk about the left options. They're pretty self-explanatory for the countries and languages. Obviously, if you choose any of these countries, you'll get publications that are specifically out of those countries. Same thing with languages. If you choose any language, you'll get publications written only in that language. Now for publication types, if we go into here and choose uh, a, a publication type, say for example, we choose fashion, this is only going to be specifically publications only publishing fashion. You won't get the fashion section or fashion articles from a newspaper. This is only going to be publications where they specifically write for that topic and that topic only, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so using uh, the categories and publication type areas are a little bit more iffy and you'll get more specific things rather than those uh, sections of a newspaper that you're more used to in, uh, in browsing the newspaper. That's, that's really it in using a uh, press reader. You can go into any publication. Um, we went to a variety today, um, but you can just open up any that you see, any um, any publication that you might be interested in, you can go ahead and open up and start reading from the comfort of your home. Thank you for joining me today.
I hope some of you check out Press Reader and give uh, reading the newspaper online a try.